Hey everyone, Jace here with Corsair. Like most of you guys, I'm a big fan of the Battlefield series. With Battlefield 4 coming out and their new graphics engine, I gotta make sure that my computer is up to spec so I can fully enjoy the experience. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the recommended system requirements. You gotta have your 64-bit operating system, 6-core AMD CPU or quad-core Intel CPU, 8 gigabytes of memory, and for graphics, they recommend at least AMD Radeon HD 7870 or an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660. And lastly, you gotta make sure that you have 30 gigabytes of hard drive space to accommodate for the large file size. In this video series, I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade your system for the ultimate Battlefield 4 experience. In this first episode here, we're gonna focus on graphics and power. So this is my old system. It's pretty good and it played Battlefield 3 like a champ, but it definitely needs an upgrade. It's an i5-2500K, so I'm good there. My CPU is okay, but my GPU is lacking, clearly. It's a 560, and with only one gig of memory, it's just not gonna work. But I've got this GTX 780 here with three gigabytes of memory. It's a beefy card, and it'll be able to handle this game no problem. But remember, it might not fit in everybody's budget, so you could put a 660 in there, or a 7870 GPU, and it'll work just fine. But when we're upgrading our graphics card, we gotta make sure that we have enough power to supply those cards. So I'm upgrading my old CX for this RM Series 850. This guy here is 80 plus gold certified, which is much more efficient than the CX series. And since we're over the recommended wattage requirement, it's not gonna work as hard, which means less heat and less fan noise. Let's get started by removing the old graphics card. So we just need to unplug the PCIe cables, then remove the thumb screws holding it in place. And the graphics card slides right out. Next, let's unplug the 24-pin cable, CPU power, and the SATA and peripheral cables. Now we can remove the main unit and all of its cabling. The new PSU goes in the same way as the old one came out, except that the RM series is 100% modular, so I only need to install the cables I'm going to use. Now that we've installed the new PSU, let's go ahead and throw in this GTX 780. And there you have it. Our PSU and GPU are installed and they're ready for Battlefield 4. Why don't you guys join us next segment where we go over our SSD and memory upgrades. And if you have any questions, here's how to get in touch with us.